Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Here's the starting group for Houston. The post pairing form, Smith along with Shingu. Don Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. And it's Gordon in at the three slot. And for the Pistons, the backcourt guards are Cunningham and Ivy. Isaiah Stewart out there at Bogdanovich. And it's Bay in at the small forward. You know, almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason, so right this time of year can be about getting familiar with the new team. There's always a feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are going to fit. Cunningham kicks to Bay. Back to Cunningham. Now, here's Stewart. Shangun covering. Here's Cunningham. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And you think that bump is going to stop him? Not a chance, Cunningham. Two locked in. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And with that lightning first step of Jalen Green, very few defenders have a chance of keeping him in front. And Greg, one thing about that winding speed of Green, he's got to make his reads faster as well. I think the game is slowing down for him, though, Kevin. And that and speeding up his shot release will make him even tougher to deal with. Free throw good, Green. Looking for a one-word descriptor for Jalen Green. The best one I come up with is exciting. The way he runs the floor and gives every play his all. This guy is just fun to watch. And both free throws good for Green. Now here's Cunningham. Seven foot shot and the rejection by Smith. Green, the pass to Porter. And finished off by Porter. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green putting the team ahead of himself. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Shots good by Green. For Detroit, they've gone five of seven today so far. Nice shot to get this game underway. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. There's Porter Let's with the three. Go. They grab their own miss. Nothing soft about the putback there. 56 seconds left in the first quarter. Hangley with the bucket. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now, here is Smith. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Count it. He got a little Smith. fancy with the fadeaway on that one. Last game for Houston, they picked up the win against the Suns. Pass it to Burks. And here is Bridges. And play stops. This one what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. Hard to find the positive and can see the road ahead, but... Listen, you got to stay strong and focus on just getting better every day. We've got Sadiq Bey, the Owl out there with Cade Cunningham. Then there's Isaiah Stewart. Now here's Porter. Five points in the game. Over Cunningham and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. That's tipped. Bogdanovich dishes to Cunningham. It's blocked. And now running it up the court. Martin pushing it up. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A guy who does not quit on the glass. I mean, his tenacity is a huge reason as to why this team loves him. To the paint, Bagley, and finished off by Bagley. 
Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot. Of hey, now! Hey, now! Yeah! I guess he didn't appreciate getting scored on on that last trip. I guess not. He threw it down right on top of him. How about that guy's a big-time answer? He says, you think you can score on me? Prepare for posterization. Find to find Bagley and get it to him. Back to Noel. And Noel throws it down hard. That is remarkable athleticism by Noel. Really putting on the show with his fancy dunking ability. And Green slams it in. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. And there's Chris. And it's Matthews in at the three spot. And one of Green's best assets, his leaping ability. He's a natural athlete. Very explosive. This is a dive. Bade wide open and he fires. Hits the three point bomb. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Able to score from anywhere on the court. Green can hurt you in myriad ways, and his game is only growing. Pass to Stewart. Cunningham outside. Here's Ivy. That's in, coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got four assists in the game. Porter against Cunningham. And finished off by Porter. Cunningham looking it over. And Cunningham with the slam. And you can see why they continue to call Cunningham's double. Once he's flipped that switch, let, let him let go to work. Cunningham against Porter. Kicks it to Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Nerlens Noel. First personal foul. King second. The kick out to Cunningham. Over Green. And there's another one for the Pistons. Just five to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot. Green. Good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron. Here's Christopher, and Cunningham with the block. Oh, great anticipation by Cunningham. Managing to get his hand on that shot. I'm sorry, that's yeah, poor deep. defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Detroit's getting their seventh free throw attempt here. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. Greg, you've been talking about the best conditioned players in the league, and Miles Bridges is right up there. Finishing with Forrest Wall. Shook that building all the way up. Launching off the ground and throwing it down with ease. Boy, can Green get up. Pass to Diallo. Cunningham kicks to Diallo. Over Green and Detroit again with the buck. And they call an illegal screen here. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to. A uh, different look here for Detroit. Bagley, he's checked in for Bridges. Bayes subbed in for Diallo. And slam dunk by Ivy. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. Here's Christopher. Sinks the three-pointer. Fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Bay and Bagley will slot in at small and powerful. Then it's Ivy. Well, Porter has tremendous talent and is very creative. He's good at getting his guys the ball when they're ready to score. A good passer because he's got good vision. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. 
another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say you've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Quarter against Cunningham. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Porter able to draw the whistle there because he's such a dynamic scorer and playmaker. At the line for the Rockets, Porter. Kevin Porter Jr. at the line for two. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's get an update on Jalen Green. What's the status there, David? Hey, Kevin, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for the Rockets. He's currently suffering from shin splints and is in a lot of pain right now. You don't want to hear this news as most teams are starting to hit their stride. So they're going to miss him while he's recovering from this injury. Porter dishes to Matthews. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Cunningham finds Bain. Here's Bogdanovich, covered by Smith. Ivy passes to Bay, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. And the Pistons lead by five. For Houston, they've gone five of 12 on the field entering the fourth quarter. There's Porter with the three, and another three for Houston. Huge points from Porter Jr. Fearless in big moments. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Second personal foul, 13 foul. At the line for Detroit, Ivy taking two shots. Good on the first in that Porter against Cunningham. Porter gets to Shangoon. On the wing, Green. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Jaden Ivey. Tough situation for Green. Is he feeling the pressure or can he rise above it? Jaden Green, two shots. accepting more responsibility over time. Green also wants to be the guy to take big shots, too. And so he makes both from the line. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much writing. Ivy passes to Bogdanovich, and he comes up with the deuce. And the Pistons lead by four. And a close game like this, Bogdanovich coming up big with that basket. Over in the corner, Green. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Green's got 33. Green's got a full toolkit now, which makes him unstoppable at times. Going inside, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And you can't. And here we go. The coach's challenge has been initiated. Have to now review the personal foul in question. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. And getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still... And that one 
misses. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Green kicks to Gordon. Right between the eyes. A tremendous three to tie it up. We're seeing the red hot version. 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Ivy passes to Stewart. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped. That is the one saving grace of that situation. So both free throws are good, and it's a two-point ball game. Yeah, critical that he's able to convert there. Now they've taken the lead. Porter finds Green to the inside. Smith. Yes! The ball is good vision that time from Green and anticipation. He kind of knew where his teammate was going to be. Now a timeout called by Detroit. It's tied at 89. So for the Rockets. Shen Goon's checked in for Smith. And it's Matthews in for Eric Gordon. Now, here's Ivan. Not a lot of room. Deciding where to go with it. Count it! Boy, he sure can fill it up. So it's a narrow victory.